Welcome to Let's Get Quizical game number 9. Wow, we are down to the ninth episode of Let's Get Quizical. I want to once again thank the Bristol Institute of Business Management for being our proud sponsor for yet another episode of Let's Get Quizical. Three, two, one. There are at present eight UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Sri Lanka. Which of the following is not one of them? Right now in Sri Lanka, there are eight UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Which of the following is not one of them? Is it the Central Highlands of Sri Lanka? Is it the Rangiri Dambulla Cave Temple? Is it the Singaraja Forest Reserve? Or is it the Kuruvita Batalobalena Caves? Of course, the correct answer is the Kuruvita Batadombalena Caves. All right, so let me just explain, right? So now UNESCO is a world organization. UNESCO decides on world heritage sites based on two criteria. One is man-made, the other is natural sites. All right, so Sri Lanka has eight UNESCO world heritage sites. So let me read out the heritage sites in Sri Lanka. Polonnaruwa ancient city, Sigiriya ancient city, the old town of Gaul and the fortifications or the fort, Rangiri Dambulla cave temple, sacred city of Anuradhapura, central highlands of Sri Lanka and the Singaraja forest reserve. Right, so there are eight. The Kuruvita Batanobalena is a place where Signs of prehistoric mankind were found in Sri Lanka, but it is not considered as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Well done to the 42 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard after the first question. All right, Arjuna into an early lead at 885 points. Keanu Reeves in second. AU Enola Holmes are tied for third. Mad Max is in fifth. Let's have a look at our next question. UNESCO was established in 1945. UNESCO is an acronym. What does the S stand for? What does the S stand for in UNESCO? UNESCO is an acronym. Is it society? Is it social? Is it symbolic or is it scientific? Of course, the correct answer is scientific. Well done to the 52 of you who got that correct. So UNESCO is an acronym. It stands for United Nations Educational Scientific Cultural Organization. It's not society, it's not social, it's not symbolic. The correct answer is scientific. 28 think it's social, right? So well done to the 52 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard after the second question. All right, Shanit has jumped up into the lead, closely followed by Sanuka. And he's in third, Sherlock is in fourth. All rounder, well done, into the top five. Well done, girls and boys, ladies and gentlemen. We're down to question number three. Melania Trump was born in the Republic of Slovenia. What is the capital of Slovenia? So Melania Trump, the, pres the wife of President Donald Trump, was born in the Republic of Slovenia. What is the capital of Slovenia? Is it Bratislava? Is it Ljubljana? Is it Belgrade? Or is it Zagreb? Of course, the correct answer is Ljubljana. So Bratislava is the capital of Slovakia. Ljubljana is, of course, the correct answer, the capital of Slovenia. Belgrade is the capital of Serbia. And Zagreb is the capital of Croatia. So I think you know that Melania Trump is not a U, was not an originally, was not originally a US citizen. She was from the Republic of Slovenia, the capital of which is Ljubljana. Well done to the 52 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Right, Sanuka is into the lead, and Indy in second. 
Sherlock is in third. All round is in fourth. King Kong is in with the top five as well. Look at our next question. This green colored rectangle used to be the national flag of a country until 2011. Which country was it? This green colored rectangle you see used to be the national flag of a country until 2011. What was that country? Was it Bangladesh? Was it Iraq? Was it Libya? Or was it Saudi Arabia? Well done, the correct answer is Libya. Now, Libya was a very prosperous country in North Africa, right? So, until 1969, Libya had a different flag. Then the leader of, the new leader of Libya called Colonel Gaddafi, when he took over, he changed the national flag into this green rectangle that you see on screen. So from 1969 up to 2011, when he was overthrown, this used to be the national flag of Libya, right? But now after he was overthrown, they have reverted back to their old national flag. So the correct answer for that question was Libya. Well done. 62 of you got that correct. Excellent stuff. We move on to our next question. Sorry, the leaderboard. Mandy is into the lead. Well done, Mandy. Sanuka is in second. King Kong is in third. All rounder is in fourth. Remus is in fifth. Let's move on to our next question. Inuit or Eskimos are a group of indigenous peoples inhabiting the Arctic regions. Where would we not find Eskimos? Where would we not find Eskimos? Iceland, Greenland, Canada or Alaska? Eskimo varu natte koheda. Wow, a very split answer. So, the Inuit people or Eskimos are a group of indigenous people. So, indigenous peoples are people who were there originally. Of course, Sri Lankan indigenous people who are called Vedas, right? Are called Vedas. Likewise, the Inuit indigenous peoples inhabit the Arctic regions, but they are not present in Iceland. They are present in Greenland, Canada, and Alaska. Well done to the 28 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, so all rounder has jumped up into the lead. King Kong is in second, Remus is in third, Mad Max is in fourth, Matthew Perry. Wow, we have some celebrities also joining with us in fifth position. Well done. We look at our next question. Question number six. What is the smallest prime number? What is the smallest prime number? Is it zero? Is it one? Is it two? Or is it three? Ganam Prashnayat, grade six mathematics question. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. Right. So a prime number is a whole number greater than one that can only be divided by itself and one. Pratamaka Sankhya. Right. It is it has to be uh, greater than one. Also, it can be divided only by that number and one. So the smallest prime number is actually two, not one. Thirty nine of you think it's one, but the correct answer is two. Well done to the 47 of you who got that correct. Two is the smallest prime number. We move on to our leaderboard now. The okay, all rounder still in the lead. Mad Max has jumped up into second position. Matthew Perry is in third. Mandy is in fourth. Andal is in fifth. So let's look at our next question. Question number seven. Interesting question. Which of the following countries other than Sri Lanka have Tamil listed as an official language? Which of the following countries other than Sri Lanka have Tamil listed as an official language? Is it Canada? Is it Singapore? Is it Bangladesh or is it Maldives?
Wow, well done. So, Canada, of course, the official languages are English and French. But of course, a number of uh, Tamils who have, who have left Sri Lanka are now living in Canada. Who knows? Tamil might be an official language in Canada soon. But right now, it's just English and French. Bangladesh national language is Bengali. Maldives is Dilehi. But Singapore has English, Tamil, Malay and Mandarin as their official languages. So well done. Singapore is the other country that has Tamil as its official national language. Well done to the 52 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, so Mad Max is into the lead. Matthew Perry is in second. Mandy is in third. Sanuka is in fourth. All rounder is in fifth. We are down to the last question of round number one. The Galapagos Islands helped Darwin present his theory of evolution. Which country does the Galapagos Islands belong to? The Galapagos Islands helped Charles Darwin present his theory of evolution. Which country does the Galapagos Islands belong to? Is it Argentina? Is it Chile? Is it Indonesia? Or is it Ecuador? Well done. The correct answer is Ecuador. So the Galapagos Islands belongs to Ecuador. So Charles Darwin visited the Galapagos Islands in 1835. He noticed how some of these animals were animals had evolved and he took some of those animals back to his home country before he came up before he presented the theory of evolution well done ecuador owns galapagos islands so we are at the end of round number one let's look at our leaderboard after the first round All right so mad max still in the lead at 7079 points matthew perry is very close behind Mandy is in third, Sanuka is in fourth, all rounder is in fifth. Well done, girls and boys. Biden stinks. <laughs> He's back with an answer sweep of me. Careful, he might just be the next president of the USA. Round number two, question number one. The late Makandure Madush was captured overseas last year. Which state of the UAE was he arrested in? So last year, Makandure Madush, the late Makandure Madush was captured overseas. In which state of the United Arab Emirates was he arrested in? Was it Abu Dhabi? Was it Dubai? Was it Sharjah or was it Fujairah? Of course, the correct answer is Dubai. 78 of you got that correct. Excellent stuff. So the UAE has seven states, right? A good research for the young ones who are joining with us for the first time or who have been with us to do some research. So Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Saja, Fujairah, Ras Al Kaima, and Umal Kuwa <laughs> are the states of the UAE, right? So Makandure Madush was arrested in Dubai last year and brought down to Sri Lanka. Well done to the 78 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, Mad Max still in the lead. Mandy is in second. Sanuka is in third. All rounder is in fourth. King Kong is in fifth. All right, so we move on to our next question. What is Donald Trump's popular campaign slogan this year? What is Donald Trump's popular campaign slogan for the presidential election this year? Is it, let's get going? Is it Trump for president? Is it, let's do it? Or is it, keep America great? Of course, the correct answer is keep America great. He came into power in 2016 with the slogan, make America great again. Keep America Great is the slogan for this, this presidential election. Well done, 74 of you got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. 
All right, Sanuka is in second. King Kong is in third. All rounder is in fourth. Arthur the Great is in fifth. Well done, Mad Max. You are still in the lead. Let's look at our next question. Prince William recently came out and announced that he too suffered from COVID-19. What is Prince William's current title? What is Prince William's current title? Is he the Prince of Wales? Is he the Earl of Wessex? Is, it, is he the Duke of Sussex or is he the Duke of Cambridge? Of course, the correct answer is the Duke of Cambridge. So Prince Charles, Prince William's father, is the current Prince of Wales. Prince Edward, Charles's brother, is the Earl of Wessex. Harry, Prince Harry, was the Duke of Sussex. I don't know what his position is right now because he relinquished all his royal duties. But Prince William is the current Duke of Cambridge, well done to the 59 of you who got that correct. Quite a few think it's the Prince of Wales. No, that's his father. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Okay, Matt and Max still in the lead. Sanuka is very close behind. Anything can happen. Let's look at our next question. Everyone in Sri Lanka has been glued to CNN for the past few days. What does CNN stand for? What does CNN stand for? Is it Cable News Network? Is it Cable News Network? Is it Community News Network? Or is it Cable Network for News? The trick question with trick answers. Easy question with trick answers. Of course, the correct answer is the Cable News Network. CNN is the world's first 24-hour news channel, right? Capable News Network, some people I think got caught to my trick and thought that was the correct answer, but CNN stands for Cable News Network. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Mad Max still into the lead, Sanuka still in the lead. Sanuka has also hit 10,000 points. Remember, anything can happen. King Kong in third, all rounder is in fourth, Mandy is in fifth. Okay, here we go. Question number five. Okay. Former Sri Lankan cricket captains Dinesh Chandimal and Thisara Pereira recently joined the army. What is their rank? Former Sri Lankan cricket captains Dinesh Chandimal and Thisara Pereira recently joined the Sri Lankan army. What is their rank? Is it captain? Is it major? Is it sergeant or is it lieutenant? Well done. The correct answer is major. So Dinesh Chandimal and Tisra Pereira have joined the army recently, and they were uh, presented. Uh, what do you call it? They were yeah. They were presented with the rank of major, right? So both of them now are major Dinesh Chandimal and major Tisra Pereira. Right. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Okay, Mandy has jumped up back into the top three. Mad Max is in the lead. Scipio is into the top five for the first time. All rounder is in fourth. Let's look at our next question. The Paliagoda Fish Market was earlier known as St. John's Fish Market. Where was it earlier located? So, the Paliagoda Fish Market, which was in the news a lot in the past couple of weeks, was earlier known as the St. John's Fish Market. Where was it located? Was it in Nigambo? Was it in Talambo 11? Was it Matapulia or was it Cotahena? Well done, right? So, St. John's Fish Market in Colombo 11, Peta, was shifted to Paliagoda. And now that former fish market is known as the Gold Center, right? All the bad stench, the stench of fish has been washed away. Now a fully air-conditioned, fantastic uh, uh, Gold Center for all the gold, you know, jewelry shops there. So, the correct answer is Colombo 11. St. John's Fish Market was in Colombo 11. Not Nigambo, not Matakulia, not Kotahena. Well done to the 46 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Sanuka has overtaken Mad Max into the lead. 
Andy is in third. All rounder is in fourth. Skippy O is in fifth. We are down to our seventh question of round number two. Russia is the largest country in Europe. What is the second largest country in Europe? What is the second largest country in Europe? Is it Kazakhstan? Is it Spain? Is it Ukraine? Or is it France? What is the second largest country in Europe? Wow, well done. So Kazakhstan, without a doubt, is the largest country of these four, right? But Kazakhstan is located in Asia, not in Europe. Ukraine is the last, second largest country in Europe after Russia. It has a size of 232,000 square miles. France is in second, 212,000 square miles and Spain is next at 195,000 square miles. So Ukraine after Russia is the largest country in Europe. Well done. 35 of you got that correct. Kazakhstan is the ninth largest country in the world. It is also the world's largest landlocked country, meaning there are no oceans around it, but it is located in Asia or Central Asia to be more specific. 35 got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Sanuka still in the lead. Mad Max in second. Scipio is now in third. King Kong is in fourth. Mandy is in fifth. We are down to the last question of round number two. What is the currency used in Israel? What is the currency used in Israel? So Israel is almost always in the news, right? What is the currency they use? Is it the drashmas? Is it shekels? Is it dinars or is it pounds? Well done. The correct answer is shekels. That's the currency they use in Israel. Drashmas used to be the currency of Greece. Dinar is a currency that is quite popular in the Middle East. Pounds, uh, they have the Lebanese pound. They have the Cyprus pound, Cypriot pound. I, I included pounds because those are countries located close to Israel. Well done. 73 of you got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard after the end of round number two. Sanuka still in the lead. Mad Max in second. Very close second, I might add. Scipio is in third. King Kong, Mandy all within touching distance. Well done, Dora. You are making a comeback with three in a row. Excellent stuff. So we are down to round number three. Round number three will have eight questions on business science and technology let's look at our first question in which year did ceylon legally start using rupees and cents in which year did ceylon legally start using rupees and cents is it was it 1872 1972 1948 or 1922 Wow, so the correct answer. So before these rupees and cents were used, they were using the British pound as the official currency of this country. But in 1872, right? So first it was the Bank of Ceylon who started issuing notes in 1844. But in 1872, rupees was designated as the legal tender. That is the legal currency of the country, right? So 1872, good you might not know the answer, right? But it's a good question for you to know the answer to, right? We started using rupees since in 1872. Earlier, it was the British pound that was used right? because we were under British rule until 1948. Well done to the 21 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Mad Max has overtaken Sanuka into the lead. Scipio still in third, Mandy in fourth, all rounder is in fifth. We look at our next question. I think it should be an easy question. Which of the following is not a type of teeth humans have? 
which of the following is not a type of teeth humans have is it incisors is it premolars is it canines or is it polars Excellent stuff, 67 got that correct. So the four types of teeth are incisors, canines, premolars, and molars, right? Polars, can name any cut, right? So Kuntaka, Radhanaka, Charvaka, Puras, Charvaka. The four types of teeth. Well done to the 67 of you who got that. And if you do not know the answer, go to Google, right? Do some research. Fantastic, you know, how uh, we are created, how different teeth have different uses. Please do a, do, a, do a bit of research and find out if you do not know. 67 of you got that correct. Well done. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Okay, Sanuka has overtaken Mad Max. Scipio is in second now. Mandy is in fourth. All rounder is in fifth. Single link, you are done. <laughs> okay, Mad Max got that wrong. So. <laughs> Single quiz again, single again. All right, so we move on to our next question. Which of the following companies is not owned by Elon Musk? Elon Musk is a world famous entrepreneur. Which of the following is not owned by Elon Musk? Is it the Boring Company? Is it SpaceX? Is it Blue Origin? Or is it Tesla? Wow, okay, <laughs> right. So if you do not uh, know much about Elon Musk, please Google his name and learn about him. Fantastic entrepreneur, the way he comes up with ideas, right? So he is the owner of Tesla. He uh, sent a, a car to space, right? If you remember, right? <laughs> through his company, SpaceX. He has a company called the Boring Company, right? Boring can come many, boring name, right? Boring means you, big holes so i think he got the idea because he was stuck in traffic for a long time he came up with the idea hey why are we always stuck in traffic why don't we dig tunnels and get from one place to the other so he started the boring company blue origin is actually not owned by elon musk it's owned by jeff bezos the richest richest man in the world who also owns amazon Blue Origin is a space travel company started by Jeff Bezos. So they are hoping people will be able to travel to space. So Jeff Bezos owns Blue Origin, not Elon Musk. Well done to the 40 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Well done, Sanuka still in the lead. Mad Max in second, Mandy is in third. Scipio is in fourth, all rounder is in fifth. I thought it was the other boring. He's ready to produce 3D cars in future. Yeah, fantastic guy, right? So read about uh, Elon Musk if you have time. Fantastic. Let's look at our next question. Who is the famous Greek mathematician and scientist associated with the term Eureka? Who is the famous Greek mathematician and scientist associated with the term Eureka? Is it Hippocrates, Archimedes, Pythagoras or Socrates? <coughs> Excuse me. Well done, easy question. Archimedes is the correct answer. So Archimedes lived in the time of King Hiron, right? So King Hiron had a problem. The goldsmith gave him a crown, right? He was absolutely sure, the king was sure that this goldsmith had cheated him. He wanted Archimedes to find out uh, that he that the goldsmith had included the proper amount of gold as he promised. So Archimedes, one was thinking about this problem. He was trying to solve this problem for the king. And one day he got into the bathtub and he realized that when he got into the bathtub, the water was going out. So he realized that the water displaced by his body, I'm reading in the correct term, right? The water displaced by his body was equal to the weight of his body. And he was so happy, right? That he had found the solution. He forgot he wasn't wearing clothes. He ran across the streets of the town called Syracuse and 
went into uh, the palace and probably stood in front of the king without any clothes right he was shouted eureka right mama hoya gatta right and that uh, made his name etched in history well done to the 86 of uh, those 86 of you who got that correct let's look at ali the board now we are at the halfway of our quiz sanuka is in the lead mad max is in second mandy is in third skipio is in fourth all round that is in fifth well done harsh harshwardhan well done you have a correct answer streak of six in a row excellent stuff what you see here is a part of a logo of a popular household brand what is the brand associated with this what you see here is a part of a logo of a popular household brand what is this brand maggi noodles marmite prima noodles or marina cooking oil easy question i think of course the correct answer is marmite now uh, i am giving uh, free endorsement to some of these brands so they are not sponsors but we uh, consume these brands very almost every day at our, at our house in the house marmite this i show you the picture so this logo has been edited so the word marmite appears here in the middle right well done 76 got that correct excellent let's look at our leaderboard now almost everyone in the top 5 got that correct well done let's look at our next question what is the boiling point of water in fahrenheit degrees what is the boiling point of water in fahrenheit degrees is it 237 is it 32 is it 100 or is it 212 of course the correct answer is 212 degrees fahrenheit 100 degrees celsius right so some people thought it's 100 Well done. 212 degrees Fahrenheit is the boiling point of water, <laughs> right? Well done to the 58 of you who got that correct. Well done. King Kong is back in with a five. The top four remain the same. Let's look at our next question. Dolly was the first ever living creature to be cloned. What type of animal was Dolly? Dolly was the first ever living creature to be cloned. What type of animal was Dolly? Monkey, dog, a sheep or a cat? Or oh, the picture you see is not of Dolly, right? So <laughs> just put there to show what cloning means. Well done. The correct answer is sheep. So uh, the first mammal to be cloned was Dolly a sheep in Scotland right in the year 1996 i think dolly lived for about 6 and a half years i think uh, she lived a pretty normal life for a sheep or a ewe a female sheep well done 87 of you got that correct let's look at our leaderboard now much of a change the top 5 sanuka still in the lead let's look at our next question the, i think yeah, the last question of round number 3 who is supposed to have famously said you can have any color of car you want as long as it's black who is supposed to have famously said you can have any color of car you want as long as it's black was it carl benz was it henry ford was it enzo ferrari or was it lee iacocca Well done. The correct answer is Henry Ford. So Henry Ford came up with this famous Model T, right? The, the model car you see on screen. So he came up with that model, and he, uh, you know, used the first uh, assembling line of a company uh, to manufacture cars. And he said, "Okay, you can have any color of car you want, as long as it's black, right?" Funny sense of humor. Henry Ford is the correct answer. Let's look at our leaderboard after the end of three rounds. 
Okay, Scipio has overtaken Mandy into third. Sanuka is still in the lead. Mad Max is in second. King Kong is in fifth. Round number four. Questions on history, arts and literature, entertainment, movies, anything related to with our public creative arts, right? Let's look at our first question. What is considered to be the first lake or tank made by a king in Sri Lanka? What is considered to be the first lake or tank made by a king in Sri Lanka? Is it the Bhopa Vava? Is it the Sorobora Vava? Is it the Tisa Vava? Or is it the Abaya Vava? Well done. So, King Pandu Kabe is believed to have made three lakes or tanks. Abaya Vava, Jaya Vava and Gamini Vava. Right? Of which only Abaya Vava is currently uh, remaining. It's currently called Basavak Kulama. So, they, they believe that this Basavak Kulama, the current Basavak Kulama, is the Abaya Vava created by King Pandu Kabe. Well done. To the 70 of you who got that correct, let's look at our leaderboard now. Saying top five, well done. Let's look at our next question. Question number two of round number four. The world said goodbye to Sean Connery, the original James Bond. Who created the character James Bond? Who created the character James Bond? Is it Edgar Rice Burroughs? Is it Bram Stoker? Is it Ian Fleming or is it Lee Harvey Oswald? Well done. So, Ian Fleming created this character, uh, James Bond, in 1953. Edgar Rice Burroughs is the creator of Tarzan. Bram Stoker is the creator of Dracula. Lee Harvey Oswald is the guy who shot John F. Kennedy. Right? So, we bid farewell to Sean Connery, one of the greatest actors that ever lived in our era. The original James Bond. James Bond was created by Ian Fleming in 1953. I think the first book was Casino Royale. Well done to the 62 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Sanuka still in the lead. Well done, Sanuka. Well done, Danny. You're back with an answer streak of three. We move on to our next question. He was one of the world's most notorious underworld figures and was nicknamed Scarface. Who was he? The person you see on screen was one of the world's most notorious underworld figures and was nicknamed Scarface. Who was he? Was it Pablo Escobar, Machine Gun Kelly, Bugsy Siegel or Al Capone? Well done. The correct answer is Al Capone. So let me show you this picture. Right. So Al Capone got into a fight in a bar once. He insulted a girl and the girl's brother, I think, uh, cut his face. So he has three, he had three scars on his face. He had different other names, nicknames, but he hated the nickname Scarface, right? Because he was scarred for life. He had three cuts on his face. Al Capone was known as Scarface, one of the most notorious criminals ever to have lived. Well done to the 49 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. A Mad Max has overtaken Sanuka into the lead. Very close between the top four, to be honest. Right? One, uh, one answer wrong and it can change. Everything can change. King Kong is also in the top five. Well done, King Kong. Well done, Dora. You're back in the game with three in a row. Let's look at our next question. Sean Connery starred in six James Bond movies. What was his last as James Bond? Sean Connery starred in six James Bond movies. What was his last as James Bond? Was it Dr. No? Was it Diamonds Are Forever? Was it Goldfinger or was it Thunderball? Wow. So Dr. No was the first James Bond movie. 
Goldfinger and Thunderball were also two movies where J- uh, Sean Connery starred as James Bond. But the last movie was in actually 1971. Diamonds are forever. I think there was another James Bond before uh, the last movie. I think George Lazenby was in the movie uh, before Diamonds Are Forever. But Sean Connery's last movie as James Bond was Diamonds Are Forever. Well done to the 31 of you who got that correct. So usually, if a famous figure had passed has passed away during these couple of weeks, I usually include a couple of questions on. So I, if you remember in the earlier rounds, I included a few questions on Chadwick Boseman, the Black Panther who passed away as well, right? Well done. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Okay, all rounder is back into the top five. I think everyone else in the top five got it wrong. Well done, to all rounder. Right, so let's look at our next question. Uh, yeah, question number five. Who was the last governor general of Ceylon? Who was the last governor general of Ceylon? Was it Henry Monk Mason Moore? Was it Lord Solbury? Was it Oliver Gunatilaka or was it William Gopallava? Well done. The correct answer is William Gopallava. So Henry Monk Mason Moore was the last British Governor General of Ceylon before independence. Then it was Lord Solbury. Then Oliver Gunatilaka was the first. Ceylonese Governor General and then William Gopal who then went on to become Sri Lanka's first non-executive president. He was the last Governor General of Ceylon. Well done to the 28 of you who got that correct. Excellent. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Ramitu says he fell hook, line and sinker in. Mandy has jumped up into the lead. Well done, Mandy. Very close game between Mad Max and Mandy. Just, I think, 15 points different, right? Difference. So, in a game where 1,000 points are offered for every question, you know, 15 points is nothing, right? You get one wrong, you lose it all. Sanuka, also close behind. Scipio, very close. All-rounder, also close. Well done to Satoshi. You're up nine places. Excellent stuff. Let's look at our next question. With 27 awards, she holds the record for the most number of Grammy Awards by a female artist. Who is she? She holds 27 awards and holds the record for the most number of Grammys by a female artist. Who is she? Is it Adele, Aretha Franklin, Alison Cross or Beyonce? Well done, right? Alison Cross has 27 Grammy Awards. Beyonce has 24. Aretha Franklin has 18. Adele has 15. Don't worry, Adele and Beyonce might be able to catch up. So Alison Cross is a famous country singer and musician. She has 27 Grammy Awards right now. She holds the record. Well done to the 31 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Scipio has jumped up into the lead. Well done. Uh, Scipio, you are in the lead now. Mandy is in second. Mad Max is in third. Sanuka is in fourth. All rounder is in fifth. Well done, girls and boys. Let's look at our next question. Question number seven. What is the largest type of drum used in Sri Lanka? What is the largest type of drum used in Sri Lanka? Is it the Gatabereya? Is it the Banku Rabana? Is it the Daula? Or is it the Tablawa? What is the largest drum used in Sri Lanka? Well done, right? So you might remember if you had taken part in that piece. So Sri Lanka is famous for its traditional drum, right? Of which the Banku Raban, right? The Raban you play for the single Alutauruk, that is the largest type of drum used in Sri Lanka. My daughter actually asked me this question first 
some time back and i couldn't think of the answer it's a very simple answer right but not many people get it right the first time bankura bana is the largest drum used in sri lanka let's look at our leaderboard now so mandy has overtaken mad max into the lead uh, skipio into the lead mad max in second skipio is in third sanuka is in fourth all round is in fifth remember right so i think just about a thousand points separate in the top five so anything can happen right you can grab it within the next question so there are about i think nine questions to go let's see how well you do the little mermaid is a bronze statue depicting a mermaid becoming human in which european city is it located this picture you see is of the little mermaid a bronze statue depicting a mermaid becoming human in which european city is it located is it amsterdam is it paris is it copenhagen or is it brussels well done the correct answer is copenhagen so let me show you this picture it is of the little mermaid right so a famous uh, statue in uh, copenhagen in denmark well done to the 56 of you who got that correct let's look at our leaderboard at the end of four rounds all right so mandy is still a 20 point lead over mad max wow so close skipio is in third sanuka is in fourth all round is in fifth tough round three players lost their arm streak of three round number five sports and games let's see how well you do very close competition question number one which team has won the most number of indian premier league titles which team has won the most number of indian premier league titles is it chennai super kings is it mumbai indians is it kolkata knight riders is it sunrisers hyderabad The correct answer is Mumbai Indians who have won the IPL title four times. Chennai Super Kings has won it thrice. KKR or Kolkata Knight Riders have won it uh, twice. Sunrises Hyderabad has won it just once. Well done. Mumbai Indians has won the most number of IPL titles. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Mandy still in the lead. Mad Max a very close second. So is Kipio in third. Saruka is in fourth. All rounder is in fifth. Well done, Omet R. You are back in the game with three in a row. All right. So the next question is an interesting question. I hope you will get it right. Name the female who has won the most number of Olympic gold medals. Name the female who has won the most number of Olympic gold medals. Is it Nadia Comineci? Is it Alison Felix? Is it Larissa Latinina? Or is it Birgit Fischer? Wow, well done. So the correct answer is Larissa Latinina. So until Michael Phelps broke her record, Larissa Latinina held the highest number of Olympic medals. So Michael Phelps has, has won 23 goals, right? So Larissa Latinina has won nine gold medals. She has 18 medals in total. Nadia Cominici has won five. Alison Felix, six. Birgit Fisher has also won uh, six. Well done. Larissa Latinina is the female athlete who has won the most number of Olympic gold medals. She was a gymnast. Well done to the 45 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Okay, Mandy is still in the lead. Scipio is now into second. Sanuka is back. He is in third. Mad Max is in fourth. All rounder is in fifth. Okay, let's look at our next question. Which city is famous for its basketball team called the Cavaliers? Which city is famous for its basketball team called the Cavaliers? Is it Utah? Is it Los Angeles? Is it Houston or is it Cleveland? Of 
course, the correct answer is the is Cleveland, Cleveland Cavaliers, Utah Jazz, Los Angeles Lakers, Houston Rockets, Cleveland Cavaliers. Well done to the 59 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Sanuka has overtaken Scipio, so very interesting tussle for the top five. Very close, right? Very close. Anything can happen. We have uh, five more questions to go, all to play for. And let's get quizzical, game number nine. Here we go. Which of the following is not a card game? Which of the following is not a card game? Is it Lexicon? Is it Scrabble? Is it Uno? Or is it Poker? Bit of a trick question. The correct answer is, of course, Scrabble. Lexicon is a card game. It's a word game played with cards. Uno is, of course, a card game. Poker is a card game as well. Scrabble is a tile game. You play with tiles. Well done to the 77 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, so small change. Mandy still in the lead. Sanuka is in second. Mad Max is in third. All round is in fourth. Scipio drops to five. Charlie is making a comeback with three in a row. Let's look at question number five. With which sport are the terms castle and n percent associated with? With which sport are the terms castle and n percent associated with? Is it polo? Is it chess? Is it boxing or is it baseball? Well done. The correct answer is chess. Castle and in are terms associated with the game of chess. Not polo, not boxing, not baseball. Well done to the 58 of you who got that correct. You know, that's not chess keyword, right? Let's look at our leaderboard now. Mandy still retains her lead with just three more questions to go. Here we go. In boxing, left-handed boxers are usually known by which name? In boxing, left-handed boxers are usually known by which name? Lefties, Southpaws, Roundhouse or Jabbers? Well done. The correct answer is Southpaws. So the, the original Term Southpaws is believed to have uh, come from the game of baseball. Uh, do a bit of research, it's very uh, good bit of reading. But left-handed boxers are known as Southpaws. They they say that if you're left-handed, if you're a Southpaw, you have an added advantage because sometimes the, the right-handed boxers do not know how to face you. Well done to the 58 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Mad Max is slowly creeping up. Mandy is still in the lead. All rounder is in third. Sanuka is in fourth. Scipio is in fifth. Umet R. Well done. You are making a comeback with three in a row. We are down to the last two questions. Here we go. Which player is the highest goal scorer in FIFA World Cup tournaments? Which player is the highest goal scorer in FIFA? World Cup tournament? Is it Ronaldo? Is it Miroslav Closer? Is it Pile or is it Diego Maradona? Excellent stuff. So Miroslav Closer of Germany has scored 16 goals at World Cup. Ronaldo has 15. Pile or Pele has scored 12. Maradona, I think, has scored only 8 World Cup goals. But Miroslav Closer has scored 16 goals in World Cup tournaments. Well done to Miroslav. Well done to the 42 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Wow, I think everyone in the top five got it correct. Well done. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the last question of Let's Get Quizzical, game number nine, sponsored by the Bristol Institute of Business Management. 
Anything can happen. Keep your fingers crossed. Here we go. In rugby, when a player is shown the yellow card or sent to the sin bin, for how long is he or she suspended from the game? In rugby, when you are shown the yellow card, for how long are you suspended from the game? 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 minutes or for the rest of the game? Well done, you certainly know your rugby. So if you are shown a yellow card in the game of rugby and sent to the sin bin, it's called the sin bin, right? You will be suspended from the game for 10 minutes, right? Well done to the 43 of you who got that correct. Okay, we are about to reveal the winner of Let's Get Quizzical game number nine. All right. In third, it's All Rounder. Well done, All Rounder. In second, it's Mad Max. And the winner is Mandy. Well done, Mandy. Excellent stuff once again. Sanuka is in fourth. Skipio is in fifth. Excellent stuff, girls and boys. Fantastic. Brilliant. Thank you so much for being a part of Let's Get Physical game number nine. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something new. Please, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please take a moment and subscribe. It's youtube.com slash c slash sl masterminds. Please click on that red button, subscribe. Take care. Good night. Stay safe. Stay at home, please. God bless you all. Thank you so much.